Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Best of the Ten. The news has been dominated, of course, by one event, the mass shooting at an American university, the worst in US history. A 23-year-old man, originally from South Korea, a student at the university, killed 32 people. In note he left in his room at Virginia Tech, he wrote, You caused me to do this. Matt Fry sent this report. Destruction struck in Virginia and living on a college campus now became a safety concern all across the country. Violence became more of an issue and since the Virginia Tech shootings, an act of violence strikes each day on at least one college campus. When teenagers go to college, they tend to begin experimenting. Drugs and alcohol abuse is more prevalent and the usage leads to bad decisions and many times results in destruction, including close to a thousand deaths and 4.86 million drunk driving incidents. Many college students spend their nights studying or doing loads of homework, something that may not be normal to many first year students. This causes an increase in stress and countless sleepless nights, which may lead to my next point, depression. The number one killer for college students is depression. College tends to be a stressor and on top of work, bullying is prevalent as well as in the Virginia Tech shootings. Because of this, acts of violence occur many times ending in death. Um, it, it's just a, it's a different world that we live in. Anytime you hear an idle threat or you witness something, you, ha you can't ignore it. You have to make sure that um, you take everything seriously, investigate it thoroughly, and just to see you know, what, if there's anything to whatever you might hear. Um, we have a one call now system, the same as Davis County Public School Systems that you all use for weather and announcements like that. We have that for an emergency contact system as well. So we encourage, we don't require them, we encourage all our students to sign up for that as well as parents so they can be in the loop if we ever had to have a lockdown or an emergency on campus. We've had it probably for the past six or seven years and we only have used it for weather related issues. We've never had that. Never had to have an, um, any kind of emergency situation where we'd have to lock down the campus. To prevent the violence, colleges have been implementing several tactics. Colleges have implemented various drug and alcohol prevention programs that support students on their path to becoming clean and saying no to the stimulants that increase violent acts. These stimulants, drugs and alcohol, force students to act unlike themselves because their brain's receptors work in a different way when under the influence. Various notification systems are also in place that send alerts to all students and staff on campus when a violent act occurs. Many of these notifications are sent straight to a student's cell phone since almost every college student uses their phone on a daily basis. Compare this to the Remind 101 system that we have that reminds us just about any event that we need to be aware of. Also big on college campuses are the blue emergency call boxes stationed throughout various campuses that are very convenient in allowing emergencies to be responded to in seconds. Colleges all across America have tried to increase the strength of their campus security force. Some colleges have partnered with their city's police departments to put actual cops on campus. Others have turned to arming their officers with automatic weapons in case action needs to be taken on spot. No matter what tactic is taken, an authority figure may help decrease the acts of violence. Decreasing the violence that occurs on college campuses more often in today's world certainly will lead to a happier experience filled with success for all. Graduation rates increase with the decrease in violence, allowing for a safer campus. Now that's something to be proud about.